Hi, I'm Lee Partridge, and welcome back to Cole UTV for another pre-match show ahead of today's game against Morecambe. On the show this evening, we will be getting the thoughts from Ben Garner over what has been a bit of a mixed bag when it comes to results over the last seven days or so. So we'll be getting his thoughts on that and ahead of today's game against Morgan. Also, we'll be chatting to Cameron McGeehan, who is available for selection once again today. We'll be taking a look back at a previous game against Morgan, and that's back in 2018. And also a certain Courtney Senior playing his part in that game. Firstly, let's get the thoughts over the last uh, few games, last couple of games, and ahead of today's game against Morecambe from Ben Garner. Ben, obviously after a defeat on Tuesday, you want a reaction. How's that initial reaction been? And uh, is it as you'd expected from a group that you know pretty well now? Yeah, well, I was in with a smaller training group yesterday, the ones that were coming back from injury or suspended and, and didn't travel, and they were fantastic yesterday, and that lifted my spirits a little bit, if I'm honest. Um, so a really good session with them yesterday, and then we're about to train this afternoon, um, now in terms of preparation for Saturday. But uh, for, for me, I said everything I needed to say after the game. The players know I was disappointed with the overall level of performance. Um, I'm frustrated that we're not picking up points when we, when we should be from, from these types of games. Um, and yeah, I expect them to respond in a positive manner. We want to continue the really good home form that we've had recently. And you obviously want to get back to the performance and, and levels that we had on Saturday rather than Tuesday, uh, back at home as well. Yeah, we, I mean, prior to Tuesday, we had four really strong performances. Um, Tranmere, Mansfield, away at Crewe, uh, and then home to Notts County. Four really good performances that, for me, warranted taking 12 points from those games. Um, a little bit of a drop off Tuesday, and um, we need to make sure that's the exception. We need to. Uh, finish this week strong now with a, a good performance against a good side um, and let's get three points that will make it a more positive week. And, and obviously you're going to be without Arthur Reid uh, for the suspension but good to have two players back who are now available for se selection again. Yeah, I mean Cam and Manny were a miss on Tuesday night so fantastic to have them back available for, for um, Saturday and just disappointing that we've, as you say, we've lost Reedy. I mean, M Manny was the only one for five bookings but do you think there's going to be clubs that are going to get more players get into five games quicker this mm. season with all the new new rules uh, that have come in. Yeah, I think so. I think it's just putting more pressure on uh, on players, on managers. I mean, I, I've had two yellow cards. Uh, that's me one 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 away from a suspension, and uh, you know, I've got two yellow cards for waving my arms in frustration at a decision. Uh, does it warrant a ban? Free free you know free occasions doing that. We, we need to be careful. We're not diluting the game too much and. It should be about the players, first and foremost. Um, and I think it's putting undue pressure on players that's not needed. And it's taken away from the important decisions in the game. Um, and ultimately, the, the officials have to do better. You know, we've had a goal a yard over the line Tuesday night, not given. Uh, you know, these things need to, need to be looked at and addressed. And we need to make sure that we're not throwing too much onto the players and taking it away from, from the officials because they've got a job to do as well. Yeah, and our job on Saturday is obviously to go out there and get the three points we want. What kind of uh, challenges to, to more can throw up a side in mid-table? They're a good side. They, they've mixed it up in games. They've had some games where they've gone really high and pressed teams and almost gone man on man. And, and other games they've sat a bit deeper. And whatever way they do it, they're a fantastic team on transitions. They, they can play through the pitch really quickly. Uh, they've got good pace and energy at the top end of the pitch and if you switch off or you don't concentrate behind your attacks they can really really hurt you equally they can pass the ball through the through the pitch well and, and they're a threat offset pieces so um, they're a good side uh, for me the focus needs to be on our levels get our performance right make sure we're intense make sure we're, we're mentally in the right place uh, hit the performance levels we know we're capable of and then I'm confident we can then win the game. Yeah, and one of those levels creating the chances to, to win games has been good. Just a case of that ruthlessness in making sure that we uh, yeah. convert them. Yeah, absolutely. We need to be ruthless in, in both boxes, and every manager in the league will probably say that. You know, that's what decides games. For me, we've given a couple of soft goals up in recent games. Uh, we haven't taken enough chances, um, probably all season, if I'm being honest. But we're creating them, which is the positive, and it is improving. You know, I'm looking at Samson's stats yesterday, 2 and 28 last season. He's got 3 and 7 this season, so, you know, it's a massive improvement. Massive improvement. Um, and likewise through the group, Jaden February with another assist. All these players are getting better and improving, which is to make sure we keep creating the chances. I'm confident the players will score more goals as we go along. 
Ben talking about consistency and the contrast in the two games from Notts County to Newport. Let's hope we can put that right today. Now let's get the thoughts from Cameron McGeehan, who is available for selection today. You can see the selection, the starting lineups, if you go across to our socials and our website right now. But let's get the thoughts from Cameron. Cam, having missed the game, you must be really looking forward to getting back out there on Saturday. Yeah, it's difficult to uh, to watch on Tuesday to yeah not be able to to play, uh, help the boys. Um, yeah, obviously it was a disappointing result as well. Um, so just obviously looking forward to the game game Saturday now. It's going to be a tough one, and uh, head coach Ben Garner and Connor Hall said on Tuesday it's about finding that consistency game after game rather than being fantastic one week and then not so much the next. Yeah, I think that's obviously football, and if you want to be a successful team, you've got yeah you've got to put the consistent performances together. Um, but you know, I think the way we've we've played, and since I've since I've been here anyway, from my own experience, it's been you know some, some really good performances, and um, the way the manager wants to play, and uh, yeah, the level of the, the players and stuff is, is really high. So you know, I think still early in the season, um, there's still plenty of time, and I just think. You know, it's all it's all coming together. It's just obviously frustrating because results are the most important thing. But yeah, I've got a game in hand and put a little run together now. Um, going into some games that you know we, we want to be winning. Um, yeah, and then hopefully that sort of seeds up the table. And from a personal note, you must feel that you're getting fitter and fitter as each game uh, comes and goes, and uh, and feeling stronger all the time. Yeah, it's difficult just uh, coming back from sort of not playing for three, four months when you've been obviously on the off season for an extended period of time. Um, so yeah, it's more difficult than I thought it was going to be in terms of you know, I've done a lot of running and stuff, but obviously football's a completely different kind of fitness and I spoke to the manager a lot and worked closely with him on, you know, um, building my minutes up um, slowly, slowly but surely. But sort of last yeah, the last game is probably where I felt my, my fittest. There's still a little bit to go, a little bit to come just because my style of play is all about energy and work rate and stuff so you know as I think you can sort of see it sort of getting better and better and fitter and fitter so you know plenty more to come. And did that make it even more frustrating that you then did get those two yellow cards and had to miss a game when you felt you would just get into that level you wanted to be at? Yeah obviously it's frustrating sort of strange sort of sending off I've only been sent off once before in my career so um, yeah, it was a bit of a surprise uh, in the manner of which you know I got sent off. Um, yeah, obviously, I've already missed the first few games of the season, so it's disappointing to, to miss a game. But you know, you take the positives out of it. It's a, it's a chance to refresh, um, have, a, have a rest, and then hopefully be fully, fully sharp on Saturday. Brilliant. As Cameron says, disappointing against Newport, but we've got to draw a line under that now, and he's really pleased to be part of the match day action once again here at Colchester United. Now it's time to take a look back at a previous game against today's opponents, Morecambe. We're going to go back to 2018, where a certain Courtney Senior played quite a big part in the outcome of this game. Let's take a look at that now.
well worked goal there, finished off nicely by Courtney Senior from 2018. Let's hope we can repeat that performance today, get three points against them, and uh, much like we did last week here against Notts County. That's nearly it for me. Just to remind you that tickets are available for Forest Green next weekend, but that game will also be on the iPlayer as it's the international break. That's about it for me. I'll let you get out there, take your seats, cheer on Colchester United, cheer on the lads, and hopefully come five o'clock-ish, we have got three points in the bag. Have a great weekend, whatever you're up to, and I'll be back on Wednesday for the midweek show. Until then, it's goodbye for now. <laughs>